Hello everybody, this is my second unpack video. Um, I'm going to show you today some stuff that I got at a, um, a local like historic organization had um, a garage sale flea market type event. Um, they had it one weekend and then they um, did a, a bag and box sale um, on the following weekend. So I'm doing this a little backwards. I'm going to show you one of the boxes I got. So just to give you an idea, this is my box full of stuff. And I got it for five dollars. So I'm going to show you everything I got for five dollars. Some of the things I've kind of already decided I'm not going to do anything with, and this is one of them. It says 1999 Davis Cup Centenary Tie, Australia, USA, Boston. So it's a little, it's a, I guess it's some kind of rewards cup for a tennis match, but I kind of looked it up online. I didn't see that there was value to it. I might list it and see what happens, like on an auction, and just see if anybody wants it. Um, I picked these up. This was in the Christmas section. It's a whole stack of these. So what they are is they're from Colonial Williamsburg, and they're dated. So they, Colonial Williamsburg, I guess, put out these little brass ornaments, um, engraved ornaments, that showed, like, either a historic monument or a historic place to visit there in Colonial Williamsburg. They did, they sent these out to people, I guess, who were donators um, year after year. And so there's a whole slew of them. I think there's like 12 of them or 15 of them. So um, they're dated anywhere from, I think, 2009 to 2020. So um, I'm going to see if I could sell them as a lot. Um, this I actually got for myself. Um, I love these frames. I thought this was a nice 8x10 frame. Double frame. That's really, doesn't have any value. <laughs> so, um, this I thought, at first I thought, I was like, oh, that's not going to be anything because Lennox right now is not really great. But this T-Rose I saw when I looked it up does um, get about $25 on eBay. And it is close to perfect. The only thing I see is this little itty bitty 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 chip. So it's not even really a chip. It looks more just, eh, it might be like a little corner of a leaf. But barely noticeable. In fact, I did not notice it until just now. Um, but I think that should sell very well. These plates I picked up because I had actually gotten a lot of these plates um, from another, from a, a thrift shop. They are, I forgot what the name of them is, but I recognize them right away. They're Wildflowers, and the name of the company is, if I can read it, ooh, you know what, maybe this is a knockoff, because I don't see that same, ooh, you know what, these are a knockoff of the ones that I have downstairs. This one says Philippe something. I'm going to have to, oh, should I, I really need uh, my double magnifiers to see this, but, um, this is not the company. The company I had was a French company. So I'm not sure. Um, these, but before when I had these, I know a set could go, a set of six could go for about 20 bucks. So this is a set of six. So we'll see if they have the same value. This I picked up. I like to pick up items that are new tagged if I can find them. And this I can list as a duplicate. It's just a little just a little decorative pillow, but it's got a tag on it. It's new, has never been used. Um, I was able to get two of them, so we'll see what happens with that. May not be a big deal. I did bring my own newspaper when I went there because I knew I would be getting some um, breakables. These I picked up. These are really cute. There's just four of them. They are, um, they are Napco, and they're actually, look, 
like the you could tell from the Napco label and from everything that they look almost brand new but they're really adorable um, and the Napco Christmas figurines I know sell well um, some other Napco stuff not so much but the Christmas figurines do do well um, especially when they look like angels or um, they have like actual Christmas garments on or like a sleeping child and things like that but these are really sweet and I think oh sorry about my arm I think they'll do well here's the fourth one but they were all in really good condition beautiful condition actually so I'm excited to see what I can do with those and and by the way Christmas sells all year so don't be afraid to pick up Christmas items and list them um, anytime. In fact, I think they sell slower over the year. I mean, during Christmas time than they do throughout the year. Um, this I picked up just because I knew I was collecting, uh, getting a box of stuff. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to have to go to my handy dandy Facebook group, the thrifting board, and um, see if anybody recognizes this. There's like a little watermark on it. Um, stamp and I'll have to find out um, and know it's a, Fran a French maker it does say France on it so I have to figure out if there's a value in that but it's a really pretty glass bird um, sometimes those things are very collectible um, let's see what else I get here that will be of interest to everybody I picked up some of these um, since the pandemic like all these handcrafts and um, handicraft things, kits especially, have been very hot on eBay. So um, I'm going to see if these uh, little Bucilla needle craft, they're complete kits. They have like all the doodads, the sequins, the trim, everything you need to make these. These mice are really cute. Um, and then I got these two little um, stitchery kits. One is a boy bear and one is a girl bear. So, um, see, they're like cruel. They, I guess they're cruel work or whatever. So, see the yarn. So, we'll see how those do online. This I picked up because I, they look to me like those buyer, B Y E R, really, honey? Um, figurines. And. I'm not sure if they have value, but I will be running a look on them and check them out. Oh, they say on them, Anna something. Oh, Anna Lee, 98. Oh, these these could be really good. I've had Anna Lee before, but this little guy looks like he's a soccer uh I don't know. It's weird. Oh, He's like all kinds of sports. So he's skier, baseball, he's got an ice skate, a roller skate, and he's got a soccer ball in here. But the strap is broken. So I might have to try to repair that or sell it as is. And this guy's a little, I guess, a gardener. But they're cute. So we'll see what happens with those Anna Lee items. I don't know if you saw the label. Let me put the label up so you can see it. Kind of hard to see it because it's like in two parts. Anna Lee. Anna Lee. <clears throat> Another Christmas ornament. You could tell I was in the Christmas section when I put this box together. It came in this container that says Polonaise collection um, and by Com Komoja, I don't know, but anything that's marked like that and it did match, the picture matched the ornament itself, oops, you can see, so the picture matched what's on the ornament so I knew the box belonged to it, I thought it said, yeah, exclusively for Kurt S. Adler, which I know that's collectible, so that name rang a bell, so I put it in my box. Now it's missing the ornament topper, but I think I have some older some old ornaments that are not as saleable, so I'll just put the ornament top on here before I list it. 
This is another, oh, I found another one of these. Oh, look. That future one. Oh, here's another one of those Colonial Williamsburg things. Oh, more than I thought. Um, and then this, again, was everything was new um, with tags. And so I thought I might be able to sell these as a lot. They're napkin rings, which aren't, people don't use that much anymore. But they're holiday, so if there's any, any time that they use them, it's usually holiday, right? But I thought they were really cute. They're all hand-painted. They're made in India. They're wood. I believe they're wood. They feel like wood. And they're all tagged. It says Park Designs. They're all tagged. Apparently they retailed for $3 a piece at some point, somewhere. But I have a whole set of 12 of them. So I'll probably try to sell them for 20 bucks or something like that, which should be doable. Um, another item that I got that was brand new are these placemats. Organza Pocket Placemats. It's a set of four, and they're by a company called Two's Company. Again, a new item, has a UPC code, it's packaged, uh, never been used. So um, it looks a little delicate to me. I know for me, I would, I would not buy this personally just because, you know, placemat, you get food on it, gone, done, right? But for a place setting to look really pretty, you know, for a very special occasion, you know, someone might be picking this up. Or they might have four and they wanted eight, you know, so that maybe they'll pick this package up. So I'll put it out there and see what happens. Shipping on this might be a little difficult because they're so big, but they're flat. Um, and that's pretty much it. These I got, you know, I don't know, there might be value to them. But I do some hand, some craft items, and for some reason I was thinking I needed these. They're just like little wooden platforms for display pieces. Um, and there might be some value to these. Um, not the, now, I don't know if any of them have, it's like, well, this one, okay, so you get the picture, right? This one has a label on it. It says Mario Gazzetti, the bird sanctuary. So, you know, this one was probably used as a base for a display piece that was like a ceramic bird of some sort. So I had a couple of them, even little ones. So these I might wind up using myself or... I might see if there's any um, market for these on eBay. I'm not sure about that. I could even use it actually to, I can use these to display my items when I'm taking pictures. Like I'm just looking at my little figurines here and they look, look really sweet on these, you know? So maybe I'll do that. Um, use them for taking pictures. Um, but I thought they would be useful to throw them in the box that I'm paying $5 for. Made sense to me. And then I got just these little crosses, which are cute. I don't know if they have resale value, but I thought they were cute. They're like stone. They're really kind of very pretty. So that's everything. That's my big buy for $5. Oh, here's my little stack of stuff. Ooh, stuff unpacked. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this version, this edition of... Uh, unpacking with the bag lady. So, um, see you next time.